Hello again and welcome to Jason's in the House. I'm your host, Jason Paracella with Keller Williams Realty. Nice to see you again. And today we have uh, our guests, Stephanie and David Vanderbilt, and they're from Coastal Windows and Exteriors in Beverly. Welcome, David and Stephanie. It's nice to have you on the show. Well, thank you. Thank you. Excellent. So let's just talk about, first of all, um, a little bit about yourself and your company and how you got started and got into the business. Sure. Well, David and I, uh, let's say we've been married for 16 years and he's been doing windows and home improvements for various companies. And one night he says, you know what, let's start and open up a company of our own. I said, well, if we're going to do it and I'm going to leave teaching, let's do it with the old adage, treat others as you want to be treated. And so we do. And it works. And Excellent. we're right here in Beverly down at the Coming Center. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. So do you do most of your business locally or is it All over New, New England, England. I'd okay. say from Portland, oh, out to Worcester, down to Providence, Rhode Island. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's your main product line? Well, we started with windows, hence yeah. coastal windows, and then our customers asked for roofing, siding, windows, doors, and actually last month we added sunrooms and garage doors. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's okay. a lot. It's hard to say no. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So let's talk about doors, windows, and siding. Maybe mm -hmm. we can get into some of the other products we have some time. Sure. Okay. Um, you want to start with windows first? Sure. So windows. From my perspective as a real estate agent, I mean, I get a lot of questions and people get confused and, and you know, again, a lot of questions around, you have a lot of different fiberglass, you have vinyl, you have wood. Mm -hmm. And then not only that, when do people know if there's a problem with their windows? When should they be replaced? All those types of questions, you know, warning signs and things like that. So mm -hmm. where do you want to start with the windows as far as? Well, you can start <coughs> right off with what you were saying about the different product lines that there are. Yep. Um, there's a lot of different types of windows that are out there, um, materials wise. There's, as you said, there's vinyl, there's fiberglass, there's wood, and all of them have their, their good points and, and their drawbacks. Um, and uh, so they all have a niche. You know, yeah. in, in each different type of home and application that they might be used in. Now, this is also a combination of, of those. You might have a window, a wood window, right, with a vinyl, a fiberglass coating. Absolutely. Or a, or, yeah. Or a, a wood window with a vinyl. Have you done your homework? Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> that's, that's that's definitely available. Um, it, you have, as you said, you have wood wood with different types of coatings. That you have fiberglass coatings, vinyl coatings, all to protect the the wood from the elements. Also, so you don't have that maintenance issue. Right. Um, and then you have the beauty of the wood on the interior, which a lot of people really like to have. Um, the only thing that separates those products from different products typically are, are price. Okay. So when you get up to those, you're adding a lot more materials. Um, uh, the wood with other products on it um, tend to bring the price up. But again, you're not going to have any maintenance, and the longevity will last a lot longer than wood exposed to the environment and the elements. I just thought of something, too. So is it which ones cannot be, you can't change the color, so they can't be painted? Vinyl. It's just vinyl. If, if it's vinyl. Fiberglass um, you can paint? Fiberglass you can paint, okay. yes. You can, you can paint vinyl. Um, it's, it's an acrylic type paint, but you know, it, it scratches fairly easy. So again, now you're into a maintenance type product. No okay. longer is it non-maintenance. And that's the beauty of vinyl. Yeah. So you generally deal in which, which one, which type of window? What you most of on? our customers, we, we can get any window um, that's out there, but I'd say most of our customers are looking for a vinyl product. They don't want to maintain anything anymore. Right. Um, they don't have the, the money to afford a wood product that is covered with another product, um, which can get up there in expense. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's 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 our niche is the vinyl product, and uh, our core. Uh, Let me ask you something too. I've heard this. I have no idea if it's true or not. That out of all those products, vinyl tends to be most. Um, it, it changes. What do you call it? We, uh, contracts and contract with, and with expand. Weather. Yeah, with expanding weather. and contracting. Yeah. Correct. Vinyl will. Uh, contract and expand. It's made to do that. Um, when we talk a little bit about siding, we can get into that a little bit more in the way it's applied to a home is meant to do that. Um, expand and contract. So you do see some of that expansion and contraction. But the way it's made and the way it's applied, su such as uh, when you see windows put in uh, new construction that are vinyl windows, the holes on the nailing flange when they nail it uh, are oval. And the nails, they don't nail them all the way home. They leave them out a little bit exposed, so the vinyl window can move and expand around those nails when it's nailed in. So proper installation is a major key point. A lot of homeowners so, do it themselves, and then you see some problems yeah. because they didn't apply it properly. So if it's properly installed, it really doesn't matter if it's, if it's moving or contracting. or Exactly. Yeah. It's meant to. Restricting yeah, you want it. that yeah. to happen. Yeah. So what are some warning signs on windows or things to look out for or things you see commonly when you go to homes? Okay, so here's a so perfect example of okay, what would be a, 
a seal failure. Um, this is probably the most common thing that we see out there. I've seen a lot of the seal failures. You, you failure, see this yeah. now. Uh, this is something that you see nowadays that you didn't see years ago because years ago it was single pane windows with a storm window. That right there should be replaced. I mean, that, there's no efficiency whatsoever in a storm window. In, so it's in a typically a wood window, and then you get the the aluminum um, mm -hmm. storms. Yeah, yeah. And you'd never see that on this. Now that things have been replaced, like in the 70s and the 80s, everyone started seeing the vinyl windows going in. And it was the the newest techno uh, technology of the day. Yeah. Now it's a little obsolete, but what you start to see is is these start to fog up. Typically, right around 15 to 20 years is when they start to fog up. Um, what ends up happening is uh, the integrity of the, the seal has been lost, and you're going to get some moisture between the panes, and you can't get that moisture out. Once that, once you once see the seal this, breaks, right? yeah, yeah, once you see this, you know there's no more efficiency in the window. It's no better than a single pane window with a storm at this point. So it's now, not doing its so, job. Are you, so the windows you deal in, is it guaranteed, or when it fails, it fails? Lifetime. What do you do when that happens? Do you the windows we carry, uh, like all our products, are, are lifetime warranty. So if this ever happened, one call, and I can't say it will never happen. Um, you do with this have occasionally one window out of a batch, this will happen. It mm -hmm. might be in the manufacturing process, it might be in the shipping process, it might be in the installation process. It was dropped, maybe, who knows. But you won't see it until it fails like this. One call, and that is replaced for free, free of I charge. See. So that's for the lifetime of the window? Correct. Okay. Lifetime of the homeowner, as long as they're oh, in that home. They can get a new product replaced for no so charge. So if they sell the home, what happens? It's transferable, transferable. to the new homeowner. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. Yeah, that. So you're saying that happens less frequently now because that's. Well, it I see on that the a lot line. when I go into. You know, we have seen the job recently in Danvers, and the, whole, the windows were only seven years old in the church. Yeah. And they had this yeah. problem. It, it, so it was again, a seven-year-old window, and okay, yeah. yeah. Depends on the quality level of the product. So mm -hmm. that's what one of our things, things that we do is we educate people. You know, it, you get what you pay for, the old adage. I mean, everyone knows that that's the case, and right. it hasn't changed. Yeah. And so, I mean, yeah, you're going to have other companies out there that charge exorbitant amounts. You have some people that I guess aren't charging enough. But at the end of the day, if you do your homework, you realize that you do still get what you pay for. Now, the other thing I've seen is triple, right, triple pain? Yep. Mm -hmm. Is there Absolutely. any advantage, disadvantage? Uh, do you, would you, what do you say about that? Uh, there's, there is an advantage to triple pain. Um, it's... Uh, it's much more efficient than a dual pane. Um, you, there's uh, something called a U-value, which is the, the rating of a window that tells you how efficient a window is. The lower the U-value, the more efficient a window is. Um, in, in the state of Massachusetts right now, 0.34 is the mandate by um, the NFRC uh, gets together and they, they do ratings on windows Why don't you and they rate that. What NFRC is? They might oh, not know the that. NFRC is a National Fenestrating Rating Council. It's fancy. It's an, it's <laughs> fancy an unbiased data. party that rates all windows. All manufacturers have to send their window to them. They test it and then they give it a rating. It's a, it's a, it's you've seen the stickers on the windows, the yeah. new windows. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I've seen mm -hmm. them. So our window goes down to 0.18, but what was it, 0.3? Well, can you go down. if you do a triple yeah. pane with uh, certain type of gases and coatings, we can get down to a 0.18. Uh, code in Massachusetts is 0.34, so you can get mm -hmm. well below code um, in this in this area. So it has to be. There shouldn't be any windows manufactured that are more than 0.34. Yes. Right now. Yeah. And in the government uh, has been doing some rebates for people and whatnot, and that has to be below 0.30 or below. So um, that's even lower than Energy Star uh, equivalent in this area. So, so which, uh, what did you say your windows are? Is there they a can go down to 0 0.18, 0 depending, 0.18. On, depending on which on options you choose. Invention. It's kind of like um, you go in and you, you sit down with a, a representative of ours and you start choosing what is best for us. You know, you get right. the glass package you pick out, the type of product you pick out for the frame and the materials, and then you decide what works best for you. If you're only going to be there for a short period of time, is it really worth paying the extra money for a triple pane window? Because right. by the time you see that energy savings, it's going to take a lot longer um, living in that home to pay back that you may initial not even, expense. Yeah, benefit from it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what is it? What's the type of gas? Is it argon or something that goes in between? Yes. They still use you, argon you have gas. Done your homework. Yeah. <laughs> There's argon and, and krypton gas mm -hmm. are two different ga type of gases that they which use. Which is the one that they use? Does it doesn't matter which one you're looking for? Or? Again, if you Is want to get down to the lowest, Krypton's a Krypton? more heavy, dense gas, so it doesn't allow the cold to come in and doesn't allow the heat to go out as well. Okay, so, so that's what's filled between the two panes. So correct. The three panes. Yes. Is the, correct. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's more dense than the regular air that's around. It's actually around us, Krypton and Argon, in very, very minute amounts. Um, so it's, it's safe. You know, it's not, people think you crack the window, you might have a problem. Right, if you come, No, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a safe gas. Um, 
but it's more expensive for Krypton. It's harder mm -hmm. to, to get. Um, so right from the manufacturing standpoint, it's more pricey. So again, to get that product, it costs a little bit more. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, anything else on Windows you want to show or anything or explain or here? talk about we, anything? Yeah, I mean, I can go over a couple of the other danger signs. You want to hold this up, Stephanie? Sure. And, and um, a couple of the other danger okay signs. The, no, that's yeah. right. Okay. Typically, uh, people around here may have seen, you know, they, they have the old wood windows with the ropes and pulleys on the side. Uh, I'm sure we've seen those around here. Yeah, you know? especially in New England. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. You know, so in those ropes, they go, and then all of a sudden you have one of those windows that just keeps falling down. Right. We call them guillotine windows, you know, and it's, it's, it's a funny term, but reality is, you know, if you have children and the fingertips, it's, the dangerous, it's a dangerous thing when you have one of those sticks propped up inside of there. So yeah. those are reasons to replace your windows at that so point. So if it doesn't it stay up, you know there's a problem. Yeah, right? you get an that's issue. That's a warning sign, that's for sure. And also those, those weights that are in there are inside of a hollow chamber. And that hollow chamber is not insulated because that's where those weight boxes are. So when we do our window replacements, we insulate those weight boxes. So you're getting a full insulated chamber there. So you're saving a lot energy-wise yeah. on each one of your openings. Um, again, like we said earlier, uh, anything with a storm window uh, just goes without saying. That's a single pane window that's completely right. inefficient. Yeah. Um, and uh, drafts. One of the best ways to check for drafts in your home is to go around with a candle. You can blow it out and see what, which way the, the smoke will go. And if it's, you know, you'll, you'll actually see it blowing right into your home. You'll know you have drafty areas. If you can't afford to replace your windows, uh, one of the best things you can do is at least caulk around those areas or um, fill the gaps, you know, for the time being until you can afford to replace the windows. Okay. Most people don't realize, you know, uh, you know, I don't want to start paying for windows, they'll say to me. Right. And I'll say, well, just so you know, when we replace your windows, there's an end to you paying for your windows. <laughs> right. The ones you have now, you're going to pay for the rest of your life. Right. So you have to make a choice. It's more of an investment when you do windows these yeah. days than, yeah. than a, an expense. Right. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So you want to move on to the next, um, sure. you want to talk about roofing? Sure. Roofing. Sure. Now let me ask you something. I don't know if this is something that, I just remember a while ago, the there was one. something going on with fiberglass shingles where they were like blowing off people's roofs. And I just remember at one point when I was selling houses, that was a problem. I don't know if that's still, do they even make, is it, fi what is it, is it fiberglass? There's fiberglass the inside fiber? the asphalt when they manufacture the shingle, it gives it more rigidity and, and strength. Okay. I think at one point there might have been too much fiberglass or something. They were very brittle and they it, were breaking. You know what, shingles have, it's not that exciting of a discussion, but <laughs> shingles have come a long way in, in technology. Um, they used to be much more thin, uh, less granules on the top, um, and not only the shingle itself, but one of the key points of, of roofing is installation. Uh, I think that's, that's a very good point. Because yeah. mm -hmm. you could have the best shingle, and if it's not installed properly, you... Agreed. No. Agreed. And that's most of the time when we go to a home and we're doing an estimate and the person is upset because they bought a, a new roof and only 10 years ago, 15 years ago, and they're replacing a roof, which is not a, a small expense. It's, right. it's a big expense. And mm -hmm. realistically, how excited are you when you put a roof on your house? So you, you, you get home and you go, wow, I right. love my it's new roof. Right, it's one of those I mean, things you don't want to really, yeah. yeah. <laughs> one, thing, you know? one thing about that I want to mention, Jason, is that so we're like a, mas we're a master elite roofing contractor. And what that means is GAF, who, which is America's number one shingle. So that's GAF? Is, okay. GAF. Yeah. Mm -hmm, they come out and inspect our work. So was it six nails to a shingle? Is the underlayment, you know? You know, sloppy. So they make sure that our work is done. So not only do you have the warranty on the product, which David said before, but you also have someone coming out to inspect your work and make sure that it's done right. So that so that you're are you ultimately getting insured? Um, the warranty is coming from GAF. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of our so that you're registered with them. Factory you can call and mm -hmm. okay, correct. So, so it, that, God forbid we ever went out of business. Right. Um, the warranties that we carry are directly through the manufacturer for the homeowner. So. If you're just kind of like happened, a, you're just facilitating call. that sure. warranty, yeah. mm -hmm. which is a very mm -hmm. good point because Agreed. a lot of times, you know, no. unfortunately, you get. That's and that's one of the things when I said treat others as we want to be treated. I have no idea where our roofer is, and if something were to happen, right. you know, at least good thing I know someone. But <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do, and so that's why we went mm. ahead. And, and you can't purchase to be master elite. It's only top three percent in the nation that have that. You have to earn that right by you know your workmanship. Yeah, so that's, that's a important. very good point. Mm -hmm. And like you said, I, and I've run into it myself. You have warranties on things, but you have no idea 
who the warranty is with, who yeah. to call. Well, who do I call? Having contacts with them. Yeah, well, what, typically so, what happens when someone says that I have a 25-year a warranty on my roof, because that's what the shingle said on it on the paper. Right. Yeah, you do, but who did you who installed it? Because what will end up happening? You'll get on the phone, you'll call up the manufacturer and say, well, it's failing. They'll maybe take some pictures or whatever it may be. You'll end up getting a bundle of shingles dropped off on your in your driveway. That's your replacement. That's, yeah. So now who's going to do the work? You know. So there's a lot to the warranty that you have to look into. Workmanship is one of them, and with us, you get a 25-year workmanship guarantee along with a 50-year roofing materials guarantee. So 50 years is what they they wow. say is lifetime. So mm -hmm. nowadays, if you get the inst the roof installed properly by a certified company, it's a lifetime roof. You know, and a lot of people think, oh, I can't get a lifetime shingle roof. Yes, you can if it's done right. Yeah. You know. So you're selling 50 year, 50. Are you heard of 30 year shingles? I haven't 50 heard year of warranty. Of yep, directly through the manufacturer, mm -hmm. and a 25 year workmanship. So if anything goes wrong, um, there's someone to install it too. And again, like I said, God so forbid, that, we're not that there. They any, have. Would that include the a, I mean, a leak? That just a. Would that include a Absolutely. leak? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Guarantees leaks. Um, the so anything failing. really that happens is yeah. covered. And because of being Master Elite, they'll guarantee that because they know that our crews are to their regulations. It's not like just some guy in a pickup truck, you know, that they'll say, okay, yeah, I'm going to warranty this guy's work for 25 years. Right. You know, we have to go through rigid yeah, cause it, training. Yeah, because you're right. That's why mm -hmm. they're not going to back something yeah. that they don't even know if it was installed but correctly. But if they're trained and they're yeah. master elite, then they'll say, okay, Stephanie, we'll, we'll, we'll you know. Oh, they're particular, too. I mean, we've had to go back up to jail. Our guys mm -hmm. know the rules and know what they need to do, but mm -hmm. even then, the inspectors will catch little teeny things and we'll be back out there to repair whatever that is mm -hmm. to be up to their standards. Excellent. So I would imagine, you know, yeah, you get kind of a preferential treatment type thing if you mm -hmm. kind of a, ma you know, yeah. you said master elite. Master yeah. elite is what it's called. Yeah. So you're on the list of, re they respond to mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. If you go online, look up master elite, we'll come up as one of the preferred dealers in this location. Mm -hmm. Good. I have the w one of the warning signs for roofing. You want me to flip this big thing? Yeah, let me ask you too while we're talking about sure. that is, what is your thought and feeling about? I'm going to leave it. Well, I guess again, this is it. another thing I see a lot when I'm showing a house. People ask me the question, is there one sh layer or two layers on the roof? Oh, okay. And what's the importance of that? What, does it matter? Do you, do you put roofs over another roof? We don't. Um, so well, you always I shouldn't say that. We do occasionally when a homeowner just doesn't care about a warranty. It happens. Oh, I see. So you don't. I'm you moving don't, out. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Go over it. I don't want to pay the expense. You don't save that much. You save dumping material and a little bit of labor to take it off the roof. But at the end of the day, you know, um, doing that, we can't warranty the roof for 50 years by putting it over someone else's work. I see. So you, the warranty, there is no warranty if you put on a second layer off of it. Or they'll say, can you it. fix this hole like a raccoon got in it? And I said, well, mm -hmm. how am I going to warranty this when it's your whole roof, I can't do that. I see. So mm -hmm. that's a very good point. Yeah. Yeah. About, and it's something to think about, mm -hmm. about putting one layer or two layers, mm -hmm. you know, or another layer over an existing layer. Well, one of the key, this is, this is a perfect example of a roof that's failing right here. And you can see it's all curling. It's, this may have been just from age. Yeah. Okay. It, that's quite possible that it was just age. But most often, it's, it was installed improperly. And that meaning it, the attic wasn't ventilated properly when it was installed. So we always properly ventilate the attic. I see that a lot too. Mm -hmm. When you yeah. go to home inspections, all these, the, the, they always say that the, the attic's not ventilated mm -hmm. properly. That's it's a common Quite thing. frequently. Yeah. And the shingles will just bake on top. On, in the summertime, they'll just bake up there. And you'll get less than half of their lifetime. So again, we can't guarantee a roof for 50 years unless, first off, it's properly ventilated. So that's our key thing. So you to have do. to ventilate it. That's part oh, of the yes. installation. Absolutely. To ventilate properly. And that's also a common yeah. problem in the winter when they'll say, well, my energy bills are still too high. And I, I have, you know, your windows or I have energy efficient windows. And it's because the attic's not properly ventilated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So on this here, what are people looking for? Well, there's different things curling shingles. Yeah. Which is this okay. A house one. humid. A lot of times people say, oh, my house is humid. Or, They'll call me and say, your windows are fogging up on me. Because we'll put new windows in when they had storms and single pane, and now we'll put new energy efficient windows in there, and then they'll start fogging up on the inside. And they'll say, well, what's going on? These windows are terrible. They're mm -hmm. fogging. And you have to go out and educate them again and say, look, they're very efficient. Before, all that humidity that you're breathing out was going right oh, through right. the window. Mm -hmm. right. Now it's staying in your house because your attic's not properly ventilated. So oh, I see. So you could, do a, you, could do a, you could do a window job, mm -hmm. and yeah. the house mm -hmm. isn't ventilated properly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that now they're, oh, I see, they're And also, remember up. that job where the guy kept all that wood in his basement, 
and he, he was like, oh, I got to get the dehumidifier because he's like, well, because that's why, because your house is humid because of all the wood, remember? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of different reasons that, it's funny how you find these things out as you add more efficient products to the home, mm -hmm. you start to realize kind of the, other the problems that you mm -hmm. have that you didn't know that you had before. Yeah. Okay. I mean, houses these days, they're new houses that are built. At one point, they're built too efficient. Yeah. So they had to start ventilating in certain ways. Uh, new homes have fans that run on timers and uh, periodically throughout the day to ventilate the home because mm -hmm. it's so efficient at this point. Yeah, I remember that. You're right. I hear that too. Mm -hmm. That a lot of these homes were so tight that they weren't breathing, and yeah. a lot of the air problems and even radon, I think, and all that type of stuff was caused by a lot of these homes were just so tight. Too tight. Yeah, so There's they've no gone. Of it's, it's kind of an ebb and flow. Before they were not efficient, then they became too efficient. Now I think we've gotten that that sweet spot where we know what we need to do. Um, it's now it's just applying it to the homes that are out there. Yeah, and most of the homes out here were built a long time ago. Right. You know, I built, live in a 1910 home. I know you live yeah. close to me in a home that's old I think it's as like well. 1930s. Yeah. 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 So. Why did you want to bring this, David? Uh, it's just an old sugar. You can see that it's it cracking. I mean, they get brittle over time. Okay, it was a house that we repaired. This isn't that that old of a shingle, as you can see, um, but it's already cracking and, and snapping, and that's because of um, probably poor ventilation in the home. Mm -hmm. Okay, it just gets the, these the heat up so much, and then they cool down. They heat up so much, and they cool down. Over time, they get brittle and, and wear out. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. and then you're going to get leaks. A lot of people call us too late. That's one of the worst things is calling when you you have a leak. You know, I've, I've done estimates. People, well, we don't need the roof yet. I, well. Once it starts Come on out and look, because your roof is curling and it's got a lot of, well, we don't have a leak. Okay, well, when you see that leak, right. that means now we got to replace the sheathing, and then we got to replace rafters, and then we probably have to replace ceiling in your in your home. That's three times the cost of what your roof was going to cost, so right. proactive is what we try to, to preach, you know, be a little proactive on things. Now, the other thing I just saw, you can just want to touch on it quickly, was sure. the mold. So when people, because oh, yeah. you get, mm -hmm. you know, overhanging trees and things like that, and people have... You know, yes. down down there on the, the yeah, the lichen and the moss. Yep. The is that how much damage does that do? But if people, it, you know, it's caused usually by overhanging trees and stuff. I would usually think. it's caused by um, overhanging trees and shade and whatnot. Over time, what this will do will build up, and you'll start to lose the integrity of the, home, of the roof because it's it's going to start spreading I and see. it builds up on top of each other, and then your shingles and whatnot can't breathe properly. They actually do breathe. Okay, so this will stop the process of that, um, and. One of the ways that this is prevented now is the new shingles of today have additives that don't allow that lichen and moss to grow on top of, oh, your, of your roof anymore. So that's, again, another technology that's out and available on new roof. Hence why they can go 50 years now. People just don't know. You can go 50 years on an asphalt roof if it's done, if it's done properly, properly and you mm -hmm. choose the right shingle. So, so you may pay, I would mm -hmm. imagine you might pay a little bit more up front, except for, mm -hmm. if you think about it. You're about 30% more at the end of the day, um, mm -hmm. but think about probably how many times you're gonna replace a, your roof once. Probably preventing right? another, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So um, anyway, let's move on to the, um, the siding. Sure. Okay. These are so big posters I have. A lot of siding that's out there today. We have different different we have Hardy Board, which is an, a name brand, but it's fiber cement board is out there. There's a lot of different names that uh, companies that make it now. Um, so yeah. it's fiber cement, but there's brand names and Hardy Board is a Hardy Board is a it's popular. kinda like Kleenex is yeah. a tissue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So it's it, they came out with it first and that's what people talk about when they talk about a fiber cement board. Okay. And all of these things have their their goods and their bads, you know, drawbacks and benefits. And um, Hardy Board is really nice because one of the things about that is you never have to uh, worry about any kind of uh, uh, the fading and things that go on with different colors that you might have. But you know, because uh, it's all paintable, you paint it. It's mm -hmm. paintable. Now the drawback is yeah. it's you have to paint you have it to now. Paint it yeah. in like five years. You know, so around New England, mm -hmm. every four or five years you have mm -hmm. to paint a home. Right. And if you don't, then you end up <laughs> you end up with something like this. Yeah. You know. And so this is a, this is a wood. Clapboard. Yeah, this is clapboard. This is it's obviously something that's been around for a long period of time. Yeah. Um, and it, it's a maintenance product. People mm -hmm. these days, I don't know about you, but I know most of the people I know, both people that live in the home work. Okay, there's nobody that's home and able to take care of the house right. anymore. It's yeah, just, no, most people don't really, yeah, yeah. They don't want to spend a lot of time right. on And on your weekend, yeah. what do you like to do? Scrape and paint? Right. <laughs> yeah, I met a few old timers that still like to do that for their weekend, but not, not many sure, people anymore. The guy anymore. on our street, I think he paints his house. Yeah, I know one <laughs> on my street paints his house every, every year. But um, I don't have the time for that. I know most people I know don't have the time for that. So right. alternative products like vinyl siding, which is the siding that is our 
biggest bread and butter, I should say, uh, of, yeah. of siding that we sell. Um, because it's non-maintenance, it's, it's again, lifetime product. You do it once, you're done. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's about three times the cost of a paint job. Um, but think about how many times you're painting. Every 15 years, you paint your house three times, in New England anyway. So in 15 years, you've paid off any kind of uh, painting that you would have done. Right. And then you never have to do it again. Right. So yeah, the initial expense hurts, but you can fund it. So you do it over time. You're adding insulation too, aren't you? When you absolutely, the, yeah. the siding today oh, yeah, has insulation back it. on the, it's uh, foam back. On the siding. Mm -hmm. There's foam back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you doing the? Um, we actually only have a few minutes left, but okay. are you doing the 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 wood shingle? Uh, not the wood. The uh, vinyl shingle Shakes. and the clapboard. Yeah, mm -hmm. we do both. Are those? What's the price differential? The 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 shakes are a little more expensive. Yeah, because I, I think at one point they were even more. They were a lot. Yeah. They used to, because when they first came out, it was it was very difficult to manufacture. I should say difficult to manufacture so it looks real. Yeah. That's the thing. A lot of people still have that mindset. I don't, I don't want vi vinyl. Right. I don't want vinyl. Mm -hmm. They think of that shiny siding that you see all the seams. The seams, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and, and it's, if just let someone in your house with the new technology to show you, right? You, you'd be shocked. You can hardly tell. I mean, a lot of these houses that you're driving around, you think they're wood shake. They're not. Right. Uh, my parents did it years ago. It took me going up and using the spigot, and I leaned against the house, and I realized, wait a minute, that's not real siding. <laughs> and that's how close I had to be to, to realize it wasn't real. Are you, you selling know? more of the, the shakes or the clapboard? I think it's 50-50 at this yeah. point. So it's starting to catch up on yeah. the shakes. I, I think most of the country is still clapboard, but um, we have so many shake homes around here. And now that people are realizing how real it looks, that they're going forward with that. You yeah. know? So, um, it's, also, it's just amazing. what about that, the bug protection that it has? I know that a couple of the mothers called me about that, that they were concerned. Isn't there some sort of chemical yeah, that's in inside, it? Yeah, inside the... Um, chemicals is how it's made. In the foam backing, there's some in insect uh, resistance. Um, I that's see. put in there, so mm -hmm. if you do get any kind of um, insects that get back inside of there, they it's not going to kill them, but it will get them to not want to be there. Mm -hmm. So, um, real quick too. So, you mm -hmm. are you doing the the fiber cement? Yes. Also, absolutely. So you're doing that. Okay. Yeah. We just don't see the demand for it yeah. as much as and we carry both um, again because now you're painting. So every four or five years, mm -hmm. you know, you got to paint yeah. it. And now you're maintenance. Right. You know? It's a great it product. It'll last all, forever. It's, right. It's that. It's that balance of maintenance and look and. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know, in really what you're in understanding what you're buying and the pros and cons and things like that. Absolutely. Very very good information. Great. So if Thank people you. have other questions for you, or because we didn't get into the siding as much as we wanted to, mm -hmm. how do they get a hold of you? Coastal Windows and Exteriors. It's www.mycoastalwindows.com, and our local number in Beverly is 978-304-0495. Excellent. So what did you say was mycoastalwindows.com? Mycoastalwindows.com. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. an 888 number, 888-812-2783. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you guys very much. we have some blogs much. so we can fight with all these topics that we talk about, so um, you can check it out. Excellent. Great. Well, we want to thank you again for being with us. Uh, Jason's in the house. We really appreciate it, and, and as always, we really appreciate all the help of BevCam. And uh, actually, this will be, uh, you'll see it on BevCam and also be on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash J.A. Paracella. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next on Jason's in the House. Thank you.